Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on this vid. So first of all, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. A happy um, Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Yeah. Even so, though it's not actually Mother's Day in the UK. But all around the world, it's Mother's Day. Yeah, everywhere else. In America, in the much. Philippines parts of Europe I'm sure yeah yeah I just want to start off this video by saying Aww. hope you guys are having a wonderful day if you're a mother or a single dad or whatever or a grandparent or whatever happy Mother's Day to everyone so as you guys know from the title of this video we are going to finally do our couple's morning routine. Obviously, we've already filmed everything. This is just, we're just doing the intro a little bit later on, but we're going to show you our morning routine from literally the moment we wake up mm -hmm. and everything we get up to. Oh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, so we're going to film our morning routine today. I'm going to leave Kim to get a shower and get ready and I'm going to head downstairs and make me some breakfast. Okay, the time it has just gone 7.30. This is the usual time that I wake up now. I don't actually set an alarm. I just get up whenever I get up, really, but it's usually around this time. Kim's in the shower right now. I always head downstairs first. I cannot get out of bed and not eat straight away. I have to eat as soon as I get up. And it's usually cereal. So I have a first breakfast on my own. And then I do like a little bit of workout. And then I have a second breakfast when Kim comes down. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands on my little baby. Yeah. Okay. That is the morning workout done. Usually in the night time, like Kim and I share this bathroom. We like brush our teeth together, dance about, have a bit of fun. But in the morning... I'm usually downstairs when Kim's showering. Okay, so shower done, teeth brushed. I usually just do a little trim with my beard as well. I need some fresh. Right, good morning, beautiful. I've got my towel on my head, a towel on, because obviously I've just got out of the shower, brushed my teeth, but now I'm going through my skincare routine. I've already put on all my moisturizers, but Tom literally does exactly the same skincare routine, so you can just do that for them. Yeah, and then I'm gonna continue with my makeup. As you can see, we've got everything in containers. We kind of like put everything in the cupboards, and then if we need like our face stuff, it's in here. If we need the hair stuff, it's in this box. It's really easy in the morning to just grab everything out. So first of all, we use cleansing water just to like clean our face. It's so funny because like, before I met Kim, I never had a skincare routine. I just started doing it slowly and then my skin went so good, right? Mm-hmm. So after the cleansing water, we then use the clarifying lotion by Clinique. Uh, so we use it twice a day, morning and evening, as mm -hmm. an exfoliator. And then, yeah, so next up we've got this. It's just a moisturizer one. It's a moisturizer and a gel. So straight after the sun cream, I use the hydration gel. And then I use this moisturizing binding cream. So as you can see, it's a really long process. I layer it all on. Once that is done, I use my photo finish primer. And then final step for the skin routine, I use my beauty balm. Um, and I just use the MAC Prep and Prime BB Beauty Balm. And then once I've done all of those steps, I start my makeup. I use this moisturizer because I'm white as shit. So I need <laughs> one with a little bit of tan in it. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I don't tan. I do always put a tiny bit on my face so as well. I always put a tiny bit on my face because what I found was I'd like been putting it on my body and like neglected my face. And then I had like the whitest face going and then all my arms were like super dark. So I just put a tiny bit on my face too. It just adds but it smells so good, right? You Every yeah. time I've like got it on and I walk past you, you're like, oh, it smells so yeah. good. This product here is like the best product by Jen Atkin. And honestly, you it's my most favourite. You guys have been seeing that I always slick back my hair more recently, which I'll be doing shortly. But that is the secret product that keeps all my hair in place, like every single strand in place. And guys, that is me. Pretty much looking fresh. Boop! So now that I've done my eyebrows and skin routine, I'm going to go in with my NARS foundation. I'm using Barcelona, so I'm just going to go in with that. So foundation is done. Um, I then put on my bronzer. And then now I'm just going to add some shimmer. 
my lip liner is nearly finished. Uh, but yeah, I use MAC Spice for my lip liner. For my lipstick, I'm using Peach Shop by MAC. Uh, but with my lipstick, I kind of like switch it up. To be honest, it's like whatever lipstick I find. <laughs> I've completed my skincare and makeup routine. I just wanted to show you guys uh, my final makeup look up close, just so that you guys have got a better view. Uh, but now I'm gonna head into the closet, find something to wear, and then I'm just going to do my hair really quickly and then head downstairs for breakfast because I am super hungry. I'm in the walk-in wardrobe right now. Just need to find something to wear for today. Uh, I've not got much option because I've got rid of most of my clothes. Uh, we've given them away to like charity. So um, my, my stuff is pretty limited anyway. Everything's really comfy that I've got left in my wardrobe. So since the pregnancy, I've been just wearing sports bras and like just comfy bottom cycling shorts <laughs> joggers you guys probably seen like most of our videos i'm always in like super casual sportswear next i'm just gonna add some hydrating oil to my hair because recently my hair has been a lot more frizzier okay so i'm gonna keep my hair in a ponytail today so now that I'm finally ready, we're going to head downstairs and make some breakfast. Okay, and now I'm in the kitchen with Tom. What? You're looking like sexy as <laughs> right now. Where did you get this? This is This beautiful. is really old and I thought I'm gonna put this on. Oh, gorgeous. I was gonna put my jogging bottoms on, but I didn't realize how tight this. Oh no. I've not worn this in ages. Is this tight? Yeah, this is really <gasps> tight. Look, I'm trying to like lift it over the bump and it's like falling. Those sandals, by the way, you can see from space. I'm guys, showing these guys your sandals. <laughs> like, can I just see up. this? Like, how bright is that? How bright does your I sandal need them. to be? So, I don't know if my foot has grown or <laughs> the sizes at this place have like small sizes. Can so, feel like this is like, this is like really small, <laughs> but they're super comfy. <laughs> I would just like some peanut butter on toast if I'm honest. Okay, let me just scrub this table so you guys can see me preparing breakfast. Okay, so I'm gonna make avo on toast. Woo! That's really good. Oh, that's a nice one, right? This is, this is a nice one. That's a nice one. Yesterday was a bit brown. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. It was like stringy. It was I'm, so stringy. I'm glad it's not brown today. Yeah. That would have been. Usually I add salmon on my avocado toast, but it's finished. By the way, let me just show you this bread. Um, we always, 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 is this the rye bread? It's yeah. Polish, the Polish rye um, bread. So either the sourdough or the rye bread. Um, but I kind of said this before, but I always love, the reason why I love sourdough and rye, because it takes longer to burn. So you're fuller for longer. And it's also much more healthier than white bread. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna make a decaf coffee. This is what we do every morning. I always come down. He never makes me coffee. I never make her a coffee. But that's because I'm very particular. Like, I, to be honest, I, I don't make her I don't even know how you like your coffee. Can I see? So this is xylitol. And um, so as you guys know, I love sweet things recently, especially with the pregnancy. That's like been my top craving, right? Oh yeah sweet things so i came across this video on youtube and it was like this 70 year old lady she was talking about how when she had diabetes in her 30s she swapped to xylitol honestly i'm um, so as you know sugar it breaks down collagen or something so sugar's not good it's just like sugar's not good for you now. she's not good for you but she was talking about this product here xylitol tastes like sugar I've tried it already so good so you can still like make your cakes um, add sugar to your teas and coffees, but then still feel good about it. Yeah. So um, it's 100% natural, 40% less calories, suitable for those that have diabetes. So if you've got diabetes and like you're really struggling, guys, this is for Zyla you. Tall. Okay, how much do you fill it? Um, I always do half, like quarter, quarter, what? and then go half, and then try half. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tom, like I'm like rushing against time here because Tom decided to like toast okay. the bread. I don't like um, milky or watery teas or coffees. No, sorry. <laughs> I love my flavor. I'm a lack of flavor person. Yeah, flavor, Wait. Flavor. Oh yeah. Woo! I thought I'd put pepper 
throw my coffee. <laughs> I just done it. I was like, wait. Okay, so do you want to do your peanut butter or do you want to have, I mean, have the avocado, it's healthy. I'm peanut butter as well. Ew, for real. Peanut butter and avocado is nice. That is not a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna add, oh, spinach. <laughs> is that chili powder? So I wouldn't know why it's chili, finished. So <laughs> chili flake is finished. Guys, if you've not seen the spice hot sauce challenge when I pranked Tom, go ahead, watch that. <laughs> I might just add paprika. This is the difference in mine and Kim's cereal choices right there. Mm. What? That's your cereal choice. I just eat it because it's there, but I don't like moving. You liar! You bought the Cocoa Pops. It was not me who bought them. Did you not say, let's buy Cocoa Pops? No, we were, I remember it specifically. We were walking out, going to pay, and you always, every time we go to pay, you always have to run back in for one last freaking thing. <laughs> and this, this one time, and then you popped your head out from around the aisle and you said, should we get Cocoa Pops? I should do our morning dance routine that we do every day. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ew, who dances like that? We're gonna show you the final step that we do during our morning routine. And that, guys, is to... Make babies. No, no, we already done that one. And that is to meditate. Yeah, so we meditate every single morning. No, not every morning, that's a lie. Um, I would say every other morning. Yeah. Because we either, yeah, we do every other morning. And then recently we've been like cleansing our home and doing all that kind of stuff. So we've hit another milestone in our pregnancy, which we'll be talking about in our next video, guys. Yeah, we will. So that's why I feel like super pregnant today. <laughs> I do. From, no, from yesterday. No, no. Well, yesterday when I came back home, we sat on the sofa and I just could not get comfortable. My back was hurting. You did, to be fair, you wanted to go to bed. You wanted to get in bed oh, yeah. and lie down at like 8 Really PM, early, and I don't go to bed early. Um, but. I've been watching a new series. Oh my god, yeah. What was you? I looked, checked out Netflix this morning. You watched like six episodes <laughs> yeah. last night after I went to bed. So I went to bed super late. You're literally six episodes <laughs> yeah. in, and they're hour long episodes. Yeah, too. and it's amazing. <laughs> and I didn't even, I didn't even flick through. Um, I didn't even flick through the episodes. It's really good. It I've been watching good. Hollywood. Come on, let's show these guys up. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be bloody end of the morning soon, <laughs> right? Well, guys, we're gonna show you our end of our morning routine ritual. Okay, guys, this is our meditation corner. Um, we have like our crystals and stuff lined up here, and then we have. Uh, some incense which Kim's lighting right now, a couple of candles. Yeah, so this here, we've got um, incense called Positive Vibes. This particular brand is actually used in uh, Buddha temples around the world. It's a really popular brand, which I love using, and it smells so nice. So good. We have some crystals here which all have different meanings, and we kind of like set everything out uh, before we start our meditation. So now we're going to do a quick meditation to wrap up our morning routine. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed watching our morning routine. So today's shout out goes to Olivia Branick. Thank you so much for your comment. You are honestly the sweetest. She turned on her notification bell as mm -hmm. well. That's why we gave you a shout out. But, and I'm also going to do a couple more shout outs because in the last video, uh, we actually commented saying to please leave a heart if you've turned on your post notification bell. And um, we've had a few messages. So today, because I'm feeling really positive, <laughs> uh, we are going to do a few more. So shout out goes to Eris Flores. Thank you so much for turning on your post notification bell. Uh, we've got Tate Frignall who's had their post notification turned on from day one. Shout out uh, goes to uh, Letitia. Shout out goes to you. So we've done four shout outs today, guys. If you want a shout out, all you gotta do is like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that post notification bell, guys. Really hope you enjoyed watching our morning routine. Maybe we'll do more of these if you guys enjoyed it. Maybe we could do our nighttime routine. Yes. Who knows? Hope you enjoyed the video, and remember, as my beautiful Mrs. to the right of me always says, In a world where you can be anything, remember to always be... Mindful and positive. And kind. And kind. See you in our next video, guys. Bye. See you next time.